how you wear it if you're new here welcome and to all my returning people you know I love you thank you so much for always returning and looking at my video well today I have work attire now the difference in this work attire that I'm about to show you is I will wear this I pick don't forget I'm shopping my closet so I put these outfits together because these are things that I would wear if we had some type of dress up day although I work in corporate America we have the luxury now of dressing casual and if you follow me on Instagram, which I will put my Instagram right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see I put a lot of my work attire up there. What, what I would wear to work on a normal day. But these outfits are when we have guests and they want us to, even though you never see these guests, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. They still want everybody to look cohesive, nice and put together so these are outfits that i would wear if it was one of those days where they want you to dress and you now i'm not talking formal black tie event okay this is still work but i would tone it down a little bit so it was each outfit of course i'm also going to tell you which perfume i would wear because we're about to leave winter and go into spring but we still can wear some of our winter scents if they're not strong so um before i get into the outfits you know i like to have a little powwow how y'all been doing i hope everybody's doing great uh what have i been doing well as you saw in the intro i always show you something i did the day before the week before it's one of my days okay um i went to this restaurant that you saw in the beginning it is one of my favorite spots um and i always get the same thing but this is different why because i am about to go full-blown vegan yes, i've done it before uh, for those who are new i am vegetarian which means i don't eat meat except for seafood well i'm about to go full-blown vegan now not vegan where i won't wear no leather and all that i'm talking about the food aspect of a vegan okay i don't like to put labels i'm just gonna eat in a vegan aspect of how they break down the food so no dairy no meat um you know all the things um the reason behind it is truly health and i was vegan for six months along with exercising, along with um, just controlling, because you can be a vegan and still drink. So you see what I mean? And um, so you have to control. And I want to live past my 59 years okay uh my birthday in january 2024 i will be turning 60 so i want to come into 60 as healthy as i can so i am going to make vegan the vegan lifestyle let me not say diet a part of who i am to control my blood pressure so that's that part of it um so it's going to be girl i'm not shopping and i'm turning vegan I, it's about to be on and popping so I don't know if one has to give because I gotta do something <laughs> in my life right so I don't know how long my no shopping will be I'm trying to make it to June and you'll know because I'm not gonna you know I'm gonna tell you the truth if I don't make it to June I just won't make it to June but I'm gonna try my best uh, my vegan diet or my vegan lifestyle um has already started and you have to start by maintaining what you have in your home first right because if it's not there you won't eat it if it's not there you won't uh you know have the that little voice in your head saying it's okay go ahead one time won't hurt one time does hurt 
Why? Because I also have a uh, addictive personality, which means if I love something, I'm going to keep eating it, eating it until I get sick of it. That's why once I start something, if I like it, I continue to do it. So I started with getting rid of things in my fridge, getting rid of things in my pantry to where it's not here. So if I get up out my house and go get it, then it is truly me. Temptation eliminated. So we will see how it works. I also downloaded an app. I'm not even gonna tell you about the app because I don't know if it'll work for me. I need structure. So I need somebody telling me, do this, do that, do this. Because doing it on my own is not working. So I need somebody to say, okay, today this is what you're supposed to be doing. And I will follow that. So if this app works for me, I will tell you about it. But I'm not going to tell you about it until I see if it works. So there we go. What movies have I seen? Well, uh, I went to see, you saw in the clip also that the reason why I went to dinner is because I went to see Shazam. You know, I'm an avid. I'm not even, I'm an avid Marvel fan, but I will watch DC too. I just love fantasy movies. And um, I went and saw Shazam and I will give that a uh, 5 out of 10. And the reason behind that is because, okay, I dealt with it the first time on Shazam. It was cute. It was a boy. He became a superhero, you know. And, of course, he going to act like a kid. On this one, when he was Shazam, which means when he was the adult, he acted more goofy than the kid did. So, I was like, I can't keep dealing with this goofy silliness, okay? You have adults watching this movie. We can only deal with the comic relief we need you to grow up we need you to uh you know to, to move forward so that is what made it worse for me the the way they written the way they wrote for the character shazam to be so goofy i just couldn't take it anymore so that just messed the whole movie up for me if you under under nine you would probably like it but for an adult, no, you might as well wait till it come on streaming service. And I think Disney or somebody will probably put it up there. No, I think it's going to be HBO. I don't know, somebody. We got them all. It's going to stream it faster. So don't even bother to go see it. So what other movie? Because I'm not going to keep you. But, you know, I like to talk to you first. What other movie? Uh, I went to see. I go see all movies, okay? I went to see Scream. That is a good one. I will give Scream, Scream a 8 out of 10. Only because, you know, Ben Dale done that. But, the kills are worth it. So, Scream a 8 out of 10. I also went to see Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Honor Among Thieves. I give that a... Wait, I'm sorry. I will give Scream a 7 out of 10. And I will give Dungeons and Dragons a 9 out of 10. That... I enjoy that is purely what I love for my fantasy movies to be and everybody in there that played a part was good so if I recommend anything for the, my horror people go ahead and go see screen well not horror flash um, um, uh, your stab movies go see scream you will like it and for my fantasy people before don't go sh don't go see Shazam go see Dungeons and Dragons uh, and I had a early viewing because Prime let you go see it early. Uh, but it doesn't come out. It'll come out after this. That's why I saw it sooner. It don't come out till the 31st. But I had a, uh, a private screening of it through Prime. Okay, so let's get into the outfits, guys. For this outfit you're seeing now. Okay, so this is one of my favorite um when you need to dress up going black is always good so um 
you will notice that in these outfits you see some black most of it will have black in it but it will be black with something else and black and white is the is the color mix mix of the season you saw it on the runways so black and white period you will never go wrong with black and white so i didn't want to do all black you know that's just not who i am but you see on this first one it had a little pussy bow <laughs> i've been waiting to say that mm, sure it did all right so this shirt is beautiful this shirt is beautiful i love this white shirt um <clears throat> even though you can't see the full shirt shirt because it's tucked in uh but you see that it is the sleeve is gorgeous and um i paired it with a black jumpsuit both of these things are thrifted and don't forget none of this is new this is all shop in my closet I wore it with my red pumps to give you know a little color because i am who i am okay so i threw in the red color just to give it you know the break up the black and white and black white and red come on you can't you can't go wrong with that and you see uh, i toned the earrings down because you know i love a big statement earring look at these big hoop earrings i got on now and if you've been following my channel you know i love a big statement earrings but i also have earrings that are not statement earrings and they are more dainty earrings and with this one i wore my chloe so you do know i have the chloe i think this is called love uh here's the bottle um i i always layer this with something because by itself i do not like the smell by itself and it disappears so much so this is not something i would recommend if you like long lasting scents because it is not that but it is a great scent to wear to work because it is not overpowering so i layer this when i wear it and i only wear it to work it is not one of my like going to anywhere since so next guys is this outfit um so you can add color you can dress up color and not look um too out there so you see i paired this multi-colored dress which i love this dress it has pockets it is just one of my favorite dresses to wear in the spring and summer i've had it for years if you follow me you've seen it and um so i paired it with this red thrifted all this is thrifted this red thrifted blazer um and then of course uh you see the earrings and i paired it with a, my tan uh pumps from uh aldo's uh so this outfit if you just can't take it anymore you need some color it is still a perfect work outfit if you need it to dress up so i wore with that my dolce and gabbana uh blue intense look, look this is almost gone this is i can say one of my all-time favorites to wear to work i love this and it pairs with so many things um and i still smell this when i leave work this is so nice so i paired it with this and this outfit is just me all over the place um so trying to step outside your comfort zone sometimes you think you wouldn't wear stuff and then find out you do and, and stepping outside your comfort zone is also um, you remember I told you that I started braiding my own hair. I know how to braid, but I'm not a braider, if that makes sense. But I got taught, okay, sometimes I don't want to wear wigs, but I don't want to do my own hair. Everybody knows that. Anybody who knows me, I don't do my own. My hair is very thin and fine. My hair, if I was to do a uh, blowout of my hair, my hair would look like I permed it. That's how fine my hair is. 
and I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna try to braid my hair, whatever it looked like, it's my hair, right? So for the first time, guys, I went really small. I hope you can see this. Um, I put a little gray in the back and it is long and it took me all day. Do you understand me? This is the smallest I've ever done. And um, I started at 10 a.m. in the morning. I finished at 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Of course, you know, I'm at home. So that's in between me looking at TV, talking on the phone, eating uh, throughout the day. I was not prepared. I almost cried and gave up a couple of times. The reason why I wasn't prepared is because I just hopped up and said, because I keep braiding hair. I keep boxes of braiding hair. So that if I ever want to braid my hair, I, I just start it. And I just woke up that morning. You say, you, I said, you know what? I want small braids. I'm going to sit and braid it. And I just um, section it off and start it. Uh, but I've never braided this small on my own head. So it was a challenge. But now that I've done it, I know what I would do is I will take a weekend and take my time and not try to get it done in one day because I don't have to. That's the beauty of doing your own hair. You don't have to sit in a chair for hours and hours and hours. And that's, I'm just using this example as go outside your comfort zone because for years I thought about braiding my own hair, but I figured it's not gonna look perfect like people you pay to do your hair. But guys, try and i did it and i'm that i'm you know i no longer go get my nails done because i do press on nails since the uh rona came around and i had to do it myself because i was avid going to get my nails and toes done the only thing i do go is i go to get a nice nice manicure because you know having press on nails can if you don't take care of your nails damage your nails so i always take breaks and if I take them off, I really, uh, you know, almost do the manicure myself, but not as good as a manicurist, but in oil it and just try to keep them as healthy as possible. So, yes, I no longer do that, but pedicure, baby, yes. I still go get my pedicure, and I don't mind paying the money for a pedicure because I want you to do the stones. I want fruit on my feet, everything. I want all the things, okay? Um, but I'm trying to say, you know, you can still pamper and do things, but try to step outside your comfort zone. Wear that color to work. You can wear color to work and look good, honey, because I, if you follow my Instagram, you will see this grandma definitely wears color all the time. And I dress, even though I don't have to, and I can dress casual, I can wear jeans every day if I wanted to, but... You are who you are, and your fashion is your fashion. Your style is your style. Okay, so let's move on with these outfits. So the next outfit, all right, so for this one, you see this is my cropped vintage blazer shirt. And you know it's got the sleeves, baby. It's got the big gold buttons. It is everything. It is grown woman at its finest. I paired that with my black satin, well, it's not real. <laughs> so, uh, skirt that I got from H&M. Any, any, wait until H&M has a sale. Like some things I'm not willing to pay the price that H&M may want because I know that it will go on sale. And this skirt, I bought this one in a, um, I bought another one. I forget, I don't know the color. But anyway, I bought this, oh, red. I bought a black one and a red one. They were both, uh, one was $9, one was $11. But you know when it first came out, it was like, I think, $39.99 or something like that. No, baby. If I'm not, if I don't seriously want it, I am not going to pay full price. Now, if I seriously want it, I'm going to pay full price. Like for the Zara blazer with the feathers. I have missed every one, the orange one, the pink one, the pale pink one they have out now. I still missed it. You got to be quick. 
to get a Zara new in. You just got to be quick. I, I did a little uh, reel about that. You can go in there and then you put that add to basket and that thing come up in that mess say out of stock, next, you know, similar. No. So with Zara, I am waiting for that blazer with the feathers. And if it come out while I'm on the snow back, I'm going to get it. Best believe. Um, so with that, I wore that skirt and then I put it on with those tan shoes. You've seen them before. And, um, and with those, I show you, don't forget, I'm showing you the earrings. Uh, you should see, you know, a little view of the shoes. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm showing you what you need to see. And this is definitely a grown look. And for that, I'm going to wear a splash of my Twilly from Hermes. Now, when somebody say, this smells like grandma, first of all, baby, grandma smells good. So are you saying it smells good or what, what are you saying? Because this grandma smells delicious. Okay. So, I'm confused. What grandma? If you mean grown woman, like it may be a little much for, you know, a teenager or young, youngin. Yeah. This is grown woman doing grown things. That's what this is. It doesn't smell like overpowering. Like, you got to know that with this, you do a splash. Matter of fact, let me splash it right quick. Uh, let me splash it right quick. You got to do, you got to do a splash of this. This is not something you do overpowering. You don't overpower this. This is definitely a winter scent for one. And if I was to wear it to work, I would definitely put it on, on my skin and then walk around getting dressed. Because by the time you get to work, it is a faint scent, but still delicious. It is. Okay, so next is final my final look. Okay, so this is, I'm going to hit them with the black blazer. Um, so the skirt, I thrifted, and I said, I don't know how I'm going to wear it, what I'm going to wear it with, but I'm going to wear this skirt because I just love the flowers in it. So I put that on and I didn't find turtleneck. Uh, uh, very, uh, this, uh, very thin. If I, if you wear this, it's so thin. And you know, in offices, whether it's summer, winter, fall, it, it's got a chill in the air. Okay, it's cold. And I wanted to just make this my look and my take on wearing this blazer and skirt. And I have on another pair of all these all those what i say all these so you're getting your shoes from all this huh all those um pumps so this look is nice and it's me wrapped in a bow and with this i would wear my gucci bamboo i don't hear nobody talking about this but this is a a beautiful beautiful scent and it has a little bamboo top and it comes in this beautiful black um see-through glass bottle but it's got a smoky look so you know it looks kind of black and this is a beautiful scent and i don't hear people talk about it but it's beautiful um and it's to me it's another one of those that uh if you do too much it's a little heavy but if you put it on while you're getting dressed and put it on your skin, and I even got the bamboo lotion, and then put your clothes on, it will not be as overpowering to go to wear to work. It is a very beautiful scent that when someone comes up to you, they're gonna be, you know, when you hug a friend, now we back to doing a little hugging to those we know. Cause y'all still nasty. So you close to somebody, you hugging a friend or something. It is they're gonna get a whiff of this beautiful, beautiful scent. So guys, those are my looks that you can wear to work if it's one of those dress days. What do I have on? Well, I have on my Zara bodysuit that has the little happy faces, uh, and I have on because it's see through. I have on my mustard colored 
uh, um, how do I, oh, Fenty bra that I show in a haul. And these earrings I bought a long time ago from one of the little, um, uh, hair supply stores, but the, the string was like coming loose. So that's why you see some with the ball. So I just said, you know what? I'm not going to throw it away. I just took it all the way off and it gave the earrings a different look. Child, we got to start doing things and not getting rid of stuff. And you lose one earring. Where did you, where with some, another earring? I mean, do you do what you want because we got to start making this stuff last because I'm 20 from 20 now to, 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 I can't do it no more. I plan on doing more adventures and trips and seeing the world than I am shopping, but don't get me, don't get it twisted. I'm still going to shop, but I, if I'm a shop, I need somewhere to wear these things, right? So I want to go places and do things. And I got a few places and things I'm going to do for you coming up you know i got a few things in the summer so guys thanks for joining me and on to please stay for our daily devotion bye guys for the word of the lord is upright and all his work is done in faithfulness psalm 33 4 dear lord thank you for your word and your work in my life your word has kept me from straying far from you and has encouraged and renewed my faith again and again. And your work of grace continues to transform me within. Day by day, you are as faithful as the sunrise. How good you are. Yes, honey. Mm -mm. You know, we got to keep reminding ourselves that we walk a different path than those in this world because sometimes they take us there right so thanks for staying for the devotion and as always remember you are worthy bye guys